How's it going everybody? This is Roland from Banger Labs. Today we're doing an unboxing of a light. So let's see where this light came from. Okay. So first off, best VA, best of however you say that. Alright. This is going to be the 1000 watt light that we're looking at today. Really easy manual. It tells you how high and low to change the light. We're going to get a PPFD meter so we can actually measure how much light it is actually getting and how strong it is. It's made out of aluminum. It has a power protection on it so I think it's just a surge protector. All right. We'll get into this later, but for now, let's open this thing up. All right, so first, have our cord, just an easy plug-in cord. Comes with cables. Okay, these go directly to the light. Okay, these clip on the light, I think. Oh, and then they have these adjustable ones. I really like these. Okay, so this connects to the other cables, but it has an adjuster where you can change the. Uh, That's nice. Okay, set this to the side. This light will run you about ninety dollars on Amazon. It's Vespa, this is a 2023 upgraded BP-1000 LED grow light with high yield dials and dimmable full spectrum plant light for indoor plants. This is gonna be great for hydroponics. Um, it's got an aluminum frame. So you see the bars going up and down the frame here. So that's gonna help, um, it's called, I can't think of the word, but it basically helps the heat The heat spread out so it doesn't build heat up. Oh wow, this light's really clean. Okay, so let's get a close up around here. The side view. That's the light. Really nice looking, wrong side. Adjustable knob on the side. It's all aluminum frame, no plastic, I like that. I really like fully aluminum frames because I mean, plastic cracks and gets old aluminum. Um, it's a lot easier to take care of. So it's got full, full sunlight or full spectrum sunlight LEDs in here. I don't know if these are the. Uh... So right here. So right now. BP-1000, the best of BP-1000, so it says at 18 inches, it covers a 3x3 three three, um, in veggie, 
So the flowering, it covers a two and a half by two and a half. So this is going to be really good for one single plant, or it's good for small plants, like you could use this for your seedlings and cuttings. But it's a thousand watts. It's only actually using 80, which is really good. Weighs two and a half kilograms, so convert that to pounds, you know, if you want to. So far, this is awesome. This is really nice. That's where you clip it in. Guys, yeah, so we got the extension cord. We're gonna plug this in really easy. Just plug this thing in on the side. You'll probably need an extension cord when hanging it unless it's close to the wall. The cord's a little short. Alright, we got it plugged in. That's all the way up. That's like looking at the sun. So we're gonna get a PP, PPV reader. What's it called? PPV? PPM? Oh, PPF. Okay. Get a reader to check how strong these lights actually are. But uh, so far, this light's really sturdy. It's built great. I love the frame. The green's nice. It has a uh, easy switch on the side. Let's turn it off and on. So far, the quality of this light is just as good, if not better, than a lot of lights. So, decided to give it a try and use it, but if you're considering growing anything inside, hydroponic system, tent, a small area, this will definitely do the trick. This one's going to be rated for one plant, really, if you're vegging one plant. We can veg a few plants, but to flower them, you're probably only going to be able to do one light, but this is a great light for a small area, a small tent. I just want to make sure y'all got to see this part up close. So this is the one we unboxed. The flowering coverage, two and a half feet by two and a half feet. So that's going to give you about a single plant. Germination stage, 60%, veg 80, and so on. And then it tells you the height, recommended height. You might have to adjust this, matter on how warm the room is. And then it tells you the, uh, all the details over here. Really solid light so far. Set it as full spectrum. Of course, do not look directly in the light. If you're working around it too long, make sure you have some sunglasses on. So it's just a simple plug-in, and then you can hook this up to a timer.